pull the starting lever until it goes shut, and then, and then let go. was originally built to tow ships across the Columbia River bar into Astoria in Portland, Oregon. It was, uh, she was used like, like that for about 10 years, and then she was used as a logging tug on Puget Sound, and that's actually where, how she spent the majority of her career. Once the gold rush ended, or at least once the, uh, the, the push to bring massive amounts of supplies up to Alaska subsided a bit, she was sold to a logging company in Port Angeles and you, they used her to tow log rafts into Puget Sound sawmills. That was um, actually what she spent the majority of her career doing. She towed um, log rafts from the Olympic Peninsula to Puget Sound for two different logging companies until 1929 when the Foss Launch and Tug Company bought her. The Arthur Foss was actually rebuilt from an older tugboat named the Wallowa by the Foss Company in 1934. So they took an older tugboat, tore it down to the water, or tore it down to the decks, um, put in a new, installed a new engine to replace the steam engines in 1934, uh, put in the diesel engine, built new cabins, modernized the equipment for the time, and basically turned it into a brand new tugboat. They changed the name to Arthur Foss from the Wallowa, and then basically launched her on a new career. This is interesting because it shows kind of the proportions of engine to living space. The only living spaces were up here. And this was the top side of the engine room with the engine. And then all of this other space up here, up until about here, and back to about here, is actually taken up by fuel tanks with narrow passages in between. So she, this is how she was outfitted as an ocean-going diesel tug, where she was almost the entire tugboat was devoted to either engine or fuel. It also shows the scale of just how large she is, how there's almost as much of her underwater as there is above water. One of the things that we're doing right now is actually using her as a platform for educational programs in marine restoration. So Lee Earhart in the yellow hard hat there is a professional marine surveyor who is going to conduct a condition report of the hull with the help of 10 students in a workshop run in partnership with the Center for Wooden Boats and Aqua Seaport. Um, they are going to create a detailed condition report of the hulls and taking a lot of measurements of where the planks are right now, comparing it to, I think, existing plants. I'm not sure on that. And that'll be a two-day process starting tomorrow morning. And they'll be, the students will be coming tonight and 
meeting the surveyor, meeting the boat, learning about the shipyard, kind of the expectations, the safety regulations, and like that. We do intend to get her running again and cruising.